So this was our first um, high school crop scouting competition that we've held at the University of Kentucky. And really the goal of it was to try to provide high schoolers with an opportunity to um, get some hands-on training in agriculture and also integrated pest management. I think a lot of FFA teams come and compete because it's similar to some of the FFA competitions that they've been with, but it's something that any high schoolers that are interested in agriculture could participate in. Um, I learned a lot about the reproductive stages and just the growth stages of soybeans and corn and diseases that take on those and how you can fix them and uh, prevent them. We started with some soil properties where they um, looked at some fields and determined if those fields were good for growing crops. B, yeah. because I'd that still B. has a dip in the middle. Yeah, I'd, yeah, yeah, I'd say B. I said B. Yeah, B. 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 The first station, I kind of really didn't have no clue because I'm not really like crop scouting person. I'm more of like an animal person, but I'm learning new things as I go. They had some insect identification. They learned how to scout a field. They learned to identify some weeds to growth stage corn and soybean and learn about some of the agronomics that go into farming corn and soybean. And they also were tested on some of the corn and soybean diseases that we see in Kentucky. And they learned about sprayer calibration for applying things like herbicides, insecticides, and fungicides. Beforehand, we had no clue about sprayer calibration. Really, and truthfully, we had never done it in person, but it's really not that hard because I'm kind of a math nerd. And so doing any kind of formula, I like. So I thought that was the cool part. The growth stage is really important because as you guys recognized, all management decisions are gonna hinge on what growth stage it is. So that's really good. I thought that the different stages of the soybeans on the corn were interesting because you can find different stages within one field. I've learned uh, different diseases. Like some diseases look like they're the same and then some diseases are distinct and some aren't. So what we did was at each of these stations the students competed and conducted some sort of hands-on activity and with that all of the station leaders um, assigned points based on how they did at those activities and we used those points to tally up scores with the highest score winning. We also had prizes for um, second and third place as well. The winner of our crop scouting competition has the opportunity to participate and go to the national crop scouting competition that will be held in Iowa. So I think this wouldn't have been possible without our sponsors. We had the Kentucky Soybean Board and the Barnhard Fund for Excellence and UK Extension helped put this event on and we had some treats and snow cones sponsored by our Kentucky Corn Growers Association and the Kentucky Small Grains Growers Association. <laughs> okay, so